Hello everybody and welcome to the channel Crossing the Spiritual Streams and my name is Tandra. Today we're doing our daily messages from Spirit. And as usual we have three piles to choose from. We have the Milky Quartz, we have the Howlite, and we have the Sugalite Stone. So there's your three piles, Pile 1, Pile 2, and Pile 3. If you're unfamiliar with Pick a Pile readings, basically it's best to go with your gut instinct and whichever one is pulling you in the most, that's the one you should watch. You can watch more than one pile because some people every once in a while will have more than one message from spirit. These are timeless readings, even though we do do them every day. If you run across the video and feel the need to watch it, there should be a message for you at that time. Okay, we're going to give you some moments or so to reflect on these piles. We will also be doing our oracle spheres when we get to each pile. So you can be thinking of a yes or no type of question that you would like to get an answer to. All right, we're going to give you some time to reflect, and then when you're ready, there will be timestamps in the description that will lead you directly to your pile. And we'll see you there. Hello, Pal One, and welcome to your daily messages from Spirit. You guys are the ones that chose the Milky Quartz Stone. We have our cards here that we're going to get your daily messages from, and we also have our Oracle Spheres, so you can be thinking of your yes or no question that you can get an answer to, and we'll do that at the end of the, each reading. I would just like to take a quick time to say thank you to everybody that has shared our channel. We do have a unique link in the U uh, a unique URL link. Um, in the description that you can copy and paste and put it out there on your social media accounts. You can text, email it to your friends and family um, and just let them know that we exist or say, hey, check out Crossing the Spiritual Streams on YouTube. Those are very helpful and we just want to say thank you to everybody who's done that for us. All right, let's get started on your daily message. We have the Queen of Cups. It's for just a smidge. Okay. Just a little. Sorry, guys. My camera gets moved every once in a while. All right. And then we have the King of Wands and the Five of Pentacles. Hmm. Okay. So we have the Queen of Cups, the King of Wands, and the Five of Pentacles. I get... The message that seems to be coming to me is, <laughs> it's kind of a little bit of a weird message, so I'm going to try to put it in language that makes sense here. I get the feeling that you guys have been worried about losing something. Um... Financially, emotionally, in a relationship maybe, those kinds of things. Um, I feel like you, hmm, feel like you've lost something. Uh, I guess that's the feeling I'm kind of getting. And it could be either financially or emotionally or maybe both. Um, I guess... Some of you it's one, some of you it's the other, and some of you it's both. But I get the feeling that you felt like you've lost something. And Spirit wants you to know that actually there is somebody out there in your life that's actually going to fix that for you, I guess, is maybe the way it should be put. In other words, if it's financially, there's somebody out there who's going to help you out. Okay, it's either a boss or it's an authority figure of some sort, probably, or a parent or, uh, you know, somebody like that, a loved one, somebody like that. If it's emotionally or like in a romantic relationship or something, then there's somebody out there who's going to help fulfill that, that void that you have or that emptiness, okay? Okay. Uh, that's the feeling I'm getting from spirit is actually to let you know that there's somebody out there that's going to help 
fill this void for you, whatever this void happens to be. Okay, so hopefully that message makes sense to you guys and you'll understand where I'm coming from on that. I'm, I'm not real sure that came through kind of weird. So, all right, let's do our Oracle Spheres. If you've not seen these before, basically how they work is you think of a question that has a yes or no type of answer. Uh, you know, a question that can be answered by yes, no, maybe, probable, you know, those kinds of answers. We have three different stands. We have green, purple, and blue. You pick which stand you would like to get your answer on, and then we will go get our answers. All right, so number one green is not now. Number two purple is a yes. And a number three blue is a not likely. All right, so number one green's not now. Number two purple's a yes. And number three blue is a not likely. So there's your Oracle Sphere answers for today's reading. All right, guys, please remember to give the video a thumbs up and leave us comments in the comment section. This is still a relatively new series for us, and we would like to know what you think of it. Um, if you'd like to see anything different or if you like the way it works or anything like that, just let us know. Uh, we really would appreciate that. Also, check out our other videos. We have lots of timeless tarot readings on lots of other uh, topics, and they are a lot more in-depth than these daily readings are, so you might want to check those out as well. We do put out these daily readings as well as other videos at least once a week. So we look forward to seeing you in those videos. And may the stars guide your path. Bye-bye. Hello, Pile 2, and welcome to your daily messages from Spirit. Uh, you guys are the ones that chose the Howlite Stone here, so we're going to put that over here. We have our daily messages here as well as our Oracle Spheres. So you could be thinking of a yes or no type of question that you can get an answer to. We will be doing that at the end of the reading. I would like to just take a quick moment just to say thank you to everybody that has shared the channel with their friends and family. That helps us out more than you can ever imagine. We do have a unique URL listed in the description that you can copy and paste and you can text it, email it, uh, put it on your social media account so that your friends can get a chance to see it. All those things help the channel grow and we just want to say thanks to all of you guys who do that and continue to do that for us. All right, let's see what your messages are today. We have the Ten of Wands, the Six of Swords, and the Devil card. Okay. This message is actually similar to one I've been having uh, lately in some of the readings. So either you've missed those and Spirit still wants to get that message out there or they want to hammer it home, either way. Um, but basically the message is some of you are feeling trapped or you some kind of relationship or situation in your life is coming to an end and it's time to move on from that. And move forward so basically this message is the same as it has been the last couple three times it's popped up recently is that it's time to end whatever is not working for you it could be a job it could be a relationship either one because uh, I've been getting energies from both uh, and that it's time to move forward now it's time to get away from that situation and move forward to a better one and a different one that situation has played it out to, you know, the way it needed to or the way it was going to, and it's time to move on now, okay? Uh, some of you guys already know that, and you're working your way on that. Some of you have maybe been resisting it a little bit, so maybe Spirit's just trying to get that message out a little bit more to you guys. I don't know. I'm not exactly sure. I just know the message has been popping up two or three different times in some different readings I've done recently. And it's the same exact message. So I just want to get that out there to you um, and let you know it's there. All right. Let's go ahead and do our Oracle Spheres. How this works is you think of a yes or no type of question that you can get an answer to. We have three different stands. We have blue, or sorry, purple, blue, and then green. You pick which stand you would like to get your answer on, and then we go out and we get your answers, okay? 
All right, number one, purple. The answer is not likely. Number two, blue. The answer is probable. And number three, green. The answer is not likely. Okay, so number one, purple is not likely. Number two, blue is probable. Number three, green is also not likely. So there's the Oracle Sphere answers for today's reading. Guys, please remember to give the video a thumbs up. Also, leave us comments in the comments section. This is still a relatively new series for us, and we would love to hear your comments on it. We would like to know uh, if you'd like to see anything different, if you like the way it works, if there's anything else we can do that you would like to see, anything like that, any kind of comments you have, or just let us know what you thought of the reading or whether it's been helpful to you. Those are really great comments too, and we'd love to hear all that stuff from you guys. Also, check out our other videos. We have lots of timeless tarot on lots of topics, and a lot of them are really in-depth, uh, so you check those out. We do put out these videos every day. We also have other videos we put out at least once a week, so we look forward to seeing you again in future videos. And may the stars guide your path. Bye-bye. Hello, Pile 3, and welcome to your reading. Those of you that chose the Sugalite Stone, we'll move out over here to the side. We do have your daily messages here. We also have our Oracle Spheres, so you can be thinking of a yes or no question that you can get an answer to. Uh, we're going to do that at the end of the reading. I would like to just take a quick moment to just say thank you to everybody who has shared the channel. We do have a unique URL. It's listed in the description. You can copy and paste it. You can text it, email it. You can put it on your social media accounts or just say, hey, check out Crossing and Spiritual Streams on YouTube. Any and all those things really help us out a lot. And we just want to say thank you for all of you who have done so and are going to do so for us. All right. Let's see what your messages are today. We have the Six of Cups. We have the Four of Pentacles. And the Page of Cups. Okay. The message I'm getting here is that... You guys will soon get out of an energy of lack. Like if you've been feeling like you don't have enough of something, especially money, but it could be enough of love, it could be enough of time, anything else too, but money especially. Um, but that whatever this lack is that you feel like maybe you don't have enough of, you should be getting out of that energy relatively soon. And that you will actually uh, feel so good and, and so generous, you'll actually be able uh, to give other, to give stuff out to others. This could also not be monetary. This could be love. This could be uh, generosity of that kind of sort, or your time, giving away your you know some of your time to help out others or whatever. So I think it'll resonate with you differently depending on who you are. But it's it's that energy of you haven't felt like you've had enough of something to give recently and that's going to free up or get better for you relatively soon and that you're going to be able to feel freer to be able to give of this thing, whatever it is, either money, time, love, that kind of thing. Okay. So it's good to know that that's coming up, but it's also the other part of this message that kind of goes along with that is if you guys, have been feeling a little bit in a lack a lot of times it's an illusion and if you go ahead and give like let's say you're really really down on money okay I'm just gonna give it a quick example let's say you, you don't have enough money for rent uh, but you have like five dollars you know or a dollar even and you pass a homeless person on the street and you go ahead and give them that dollar I mean, it's not going to make a difference on you having enough money for rent. You went ahead and you were generous. You felt like doing that. A lot of times when we do those kinds of things, that selfless act, and, and I'm not saying doing it because you expect to get something back out of it because then that doesn't do any good. But if you just do it because it, it feels good to you, you want to do that, you want to help somebody else, and you do that, a lot of times the universe will find ways to help fix things for us. Somebody gave me an example of that one time on a video they were talking about. Uh, that back in the day when they didn't have much money or something and they had very little and they were taking a bicycle ride and, and they'd given out, you know, like their last dollar or two to somebody that really needed it and they didn't know how they were going to pay, I think it was rent or something. And they decided to take a bicycle ride 
and they they turned a corner a certain way or something. I forget how the story exactly went. But basically, they ended up being able to sell their bike for enough money to pay the rent <laughs> or something like that. The universe actually gave them that, that opportunity to do that. And they didn't really need the bicycle anymore, but it gave them another month, you know, to live wherever they were, that kind of thing. So it's that kind of example that I just kind of wanted to throw out there for you guys, just in case that that's something that you've been thinking about that, oh, hey, I really don't have much, but I really want to be able to give this to this you know, person or help this other person out. And it could be monetarily. It also could be with your time. That's something we can almost always squeeze a little bit more out of. It could also be your love and your generosity that way as well, because that doesn't cost us anything either. So those are just something for you guys to think about. If that's something that's been kind of on your mind lately, that's just uh, part of the message there for you as well. All right, we do have our Oracle Spheres here. We have purple, blue, and green. You pick which stand you would like your answers to appear on. You think of a yes or no type of question that you can get your answer to. You pick your stand and then we get our answers. All right, number one, purple. Is a yes. Number two, blue is also a yes. Wow. And then number three, green is a no. Interesting, very definite answer today. So number one, purple is a yes, and number two, blue is a yes, and then number three, green is a no. Okay, so there's your Oracle Sphere answers for today's reading. Please remember to give the video a thumbs up and get, leave us comments. This is a relatively new series for us, and we would love to hear your comments about what you think of it, whether we can improve anything, whether there's something you would like to see, uh, anything we could do differently, we would love to hear that. Also, what you think of the videos, whether they've been helpful to you or other things, or all those comments are appreciated by us a lot. Also, please check out our other videos. We have lots of timeless tarot videos. They're a lot more in-depth than these videos are. They're on lots of different topics, so you're bound to have something out there that might be of interest to you. Also, we do put out these videos every day, but we do put out our other videos at least once a week, so we look forward to seeing you in those videos as well. May the stars guide your path. Bye-bye.